Hello, this is Mike Gill with his whiskey and now wine video. Um, today, I want to do a little bit on desserts. For most of you that have followed me over the last few years, I love single malts and desserts. And now we've introduced, introduced wine. Um, I'd like to just show you a little pairing first before we move on to a very spectacular single malt, in my opinion. So what I've got here is I have um, vanilla yogurt with uh, lots of different berries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. And what I thought we might try is a Moscato. And this is um, Cavett from Northern Italy. And what's so great about this is it's only 7%. So I can see how it's pretty hip these days and uh, people are you know using them in cocktails and all sorts of things as well. Um, it's a fizzy, sparkling wine, um, you know, just like a sparkling wine, champagne style, but this is actually sweet. And uh, I think that's what a lot of people like about this now. It's very sweet and fizzy. Um, apricots, peaches on the nose. Nice effervescence and uh, I'm very sparkling and if you just try a little bit of that's really good one of the things about having a, um, a, a sparkly wine is it really gets your palate moving um, a lot of times you know champagne and seafood and things like that's the same kind of principle I just decided to have sweet with sweet which I kind of like usually with a dessert and uh, Moscato is certainly sweet um, and has a has a place in the market it's um, it's a wine that's really becoming popular so what a lot of you um, still know me for is single malt whiskey and I have um, a Glenmorangie Lysandre this is just absolutely knockout if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> so if you're a peasy guy uh, or girl, it's not for you. Not at all. This is um, not too expensive. And right now, I think it's probably in my top five for, for you know, average priced single malt. It's in my top five best ever dessert after dinner single malts. You'll notice I have no water, no ice, <laughs> because you certainly don't need anything. The only thing with this would be my vanilla yogurt, uh, creme brulee, nice bar of chocolate, um, or a box of chocolates, anything you like, really. This is um, it's spectacular. Now, it's 10 years in bourbon and two years in sherry, which, you know, a lot of us are going, you know, boring that's what everybody's doing but the thing is this one is 10 and 2 but for some reason it's not like a lot of the double woods where you they sort of separate each other you get the bourbon you get the vanilla and then you get the spice and the sherry characters coming after with this it's it's just a perfect perfect balance um what you would get on this is is uh Gosh, uh, I actually had my my first one, uh, my first uh, glass of this last night. Um, it's it's raisin, it's honey, it's vanilla on the nose. The sherry comes in a little bit after. But you could just drink this all night. It's um, get the uh, the fruity sherry at the back, and then. Right at the very end, just a hint of chocolate, and it lasts forever. So what I like to do, you know, another little sip, chew it around, and then, hmm, absolutely fantastic. So experiment with Moscato. Sparkling sweet, 7%. We're almost at the summertime, uh, so we'll be out in the patios. So 7%, um, 
you know, you can have a bottle and be just absolutely fine. Uh, and then after dinner, uh, with a little bit of dessert, try the Glamorangi La Santa. Till next time, bye.